Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mihir Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problem sum based on Gordon's dividend growth model under the chapter dividend decision under the subject strategic financial management. Again, a very important topic for all the TYBMS M6 students. Uh, this video is basically on demand. A uh, few students have asked me to prepare a Gordon's model uh, based on dividend growth model. Gordon's uh, dividend model video has already been done uh, well in advance. Now, this was a variant where what if dividend growth model was asked under Gordon's model. Okay. So now let us see how to solve the sum uh, when they ask you to find the value of the share based on Gordon's dividend growth model. Okay. The question gives uh, states that a large chemical company has been expected to grow at 14 per year for the next four years and then a grow uh, then to grow indefinitely at the same rate as the national company that is at 5%. The required rate of return on equity is 12%. Assume that the company paid a dividend of 2 rupees per share last year. Determine the market price per share using Gordon's dividend valuation or uh, growth valuation model. Now, when they give you such kind of a question, okay, let us see how to solve them, okay. So they are, they are, what are things they are giving you? They are giving you the growth rate is that, uh, you know, they are selling that a company's size is going to be growing by 14% every year for the next four years. Uh, after that, it will become st uh, at uh, indefinitely after that, it will become at 5%. The rate of return is of 12%. Dividend was 2 rupee per share last year. So every year that dividend is going to increase by 14%. Okay. So now let us see how to solve such kind of a sum. Okay. Step number one, we will first calculate the present value of dividend. So we make a table where we'll have the years, the dividend PV factor at the rate of 12% because here the rate of return was at 12% and total PV. Now they said, Four years ka data they are giving you for the next four years the dividend is going to increase so right here year one two three four now how to calculate the dividend okay now look at this very carefully okay the dividend which was given in the question is two rupee per share okay now how to solve that okay look at this very carefully i'll just bring it here dividend was two rupee per share so i wrote here two rupee now growth is at 14 percent every year so plus 14 so it becomes 2.28. So my first year ka dividend okay, after the next last year. Now the first year will be 2.28 the dividend because 14% is going to increase. Plus 14% for the next year. So it's going to grow every year 14%. So it will become 2.599 so 2.6. Again, plus 14%. That will become 2.96 plus. 14% that becomes 3.37. Okay. After that, we need to find the PV factor at 12%. So it is simple. That is 1 divided by 112%. Then press into equal to equal to equal to. We'll get all the PV of 4 years. So we will get PV of 4 years. So I've wrote, noted down directly as 0.893, 0.977, I mean 797. 0 0.712 and 0 0.636 because that is for the four years what they have asked. Now you need to multiply the dividend, multiply the dividend with the PV factor, you will get your total PV. So 2.28 into 0 0.893, 2.6 into 0 0.797 and so on. We will multiply, we get the PV factor and I need to all to find me the total PV that comes to 8.36. Okay, so whenever uh, Gordon's dividend growth model has been asked. This is the very first step you all need to do. Now let us apply the formula of the growth model. So your price is equal to dividend upon the you know, rate of return on equity minus the growth rate. Because after four years, now what happened here is uh, we need to find the present value of your share at the end of four years because 
फोर इयर्स में इट वॉज ग्रोइंग देर आफ्टर इट बिकेम स्टैगनेट ओके सो फोर्थ ईयर का वॉट वॉज द वैल्यू ऑफ द शेयर दैट इज वॉट वी नीड टू फाइंड सो नॉट डिविडेंट के लिए ना ऑन अ कैलकुलेटर वी ऑलरेडी हैड यू नो डिविडेंट ऑफ द फोर्थ ईयर विच वॉज थ्री पॉइंट थ्री सेवन नाउ आफ्टर द फोर्थ ईयर इज गोइंट टू बिकम फ्लैट एट फाइव परसेंट सो एडिंग नाउ प्लस फाइव परसेंट सो द वैल्यू बिकम्स नाउ थ्री पॉइंट फाइव फोर so the dividend for the fifth year is now 3.54 okay the cost of equity was 12% and the growth meaning after that the growth is now going to be only of 5% stagnant so it will be 0.05 okay so now how to use that so 3.54 min upon 0.12 minus 0.05 that is the substitution of the value of the formula okay again how did we get 3.54 we already had 3.37 on our calculator Plus five percent because after the fourth year is going to be stagnant at five percent. There's not there's not going to be any growth after that. There's only going to be fixed growth of five percent. So it will be zero point zero. So we have to add five percent on this. We got three point five four. Cost of equity was the return which was twelve percent and the growth is that five percent after that is going to be. So when you minus it, okay, you get three point five four upon zero point zero four. When you divide, you get the value as fifty point five seven. so now that's the present value of the share okay present value of the share as on the fourth year so now we need to find the pre, you know that is the price of the share now we need to find the present value of the share okay so the present value of the market price of the share at the end of fourth year this was the price no doubt but we need to find the present value now so the present value of the market price okay Is on the fourth year. Now fourth year's PV factor was zero point six three six. So we'll multiply that. So fifty point five seven into zero point six three six. So we get the PV uh, at the end of five uh, at the end of the fourth year as thirty two point one six rupees. Okay. Now we need to find the total market price. The total market price will nothing is nothing but the PV of dividend, which is this, plus the PV of the market price. So when we add up both, we will get the present value, or uh, we will get the market price basically. So therefore, the market price per share is equal to PV of dividend, which is eight point three six, plus PV of the share, which is thirty two point one six. So eight point three six plus thirty two point one six, we will get the total value as rupees forty point five two. So this is how you all had to solve uh, the sum based on Gordon's dividend growth valuation model. You need to first find the present value of dividend, then get the present value uh, of the share. Okay, then we find present value at the end of the last year in which they are mentioned. And lastly, the market price will be the present value of dividend plus the present value of the share. When you add up, you get the market value per share as per Gordon's dividend growth valuation model. Okay, I hope everyone have understood that this was the last uh, you know one variation under the Gordon's model. Okay. So I hope everyone have understood how to solve such kind of sum. So with that, we will be ending this video here. Thank you.